All right, welcome to Stories Making the Rounds today. And it's more than joy being here. So I've got a couple of stories I'll just be analyzing real quickly. Uh, there's a story making the rounds here that Nigeria will soon enjoy improved power supply. That's what the Minister of Power is saying. The question we should ask the Minister is how? How? Is he saying that all this work has been done as regards the, the Siemens project? What is his definition of improved power supply? What is being done? He disclosed this at the Todd Power Correspondent Association of Nigeria annual workshop. And according to him, the 2023 Power Act has liberalized the electricity power sector. He noted that key parts of the Electricity Act is the development of integrated electricity policy and strategy plan. Uh, so what in detail you know, does that mean? He's talking about bottom-up approach, metering distribution and all of that. What are the foreseeable goals? For all of this. And you see, the problem with Nigeria is that we don't ask clear questions enough from our ministers and people in power. Uh, it should not just be about buzzwords, but it should also be about the capacity to be able to ask clear questions and get veritable answers as regards the questions asked. So I think the minister should, should be asked more how we are going to be able to all of a sudden provide this power and how what is his definition of improved power supply uh there's another case making around that says efc have withdrawn money laundry charge against rupert weeks after it's been vindicated in the uk court Do you remember ashoka shashari was vindicated in the pnid that in fact he did give very good counsel and all of that there was an efc case against him before you know uh that he was uh corrupt in the PNID case but all of that has been squashed now and congratulations to him because he did he went through a lot as regards this and it was just another case of EFCC not properly doing their due diligence as regards that case uh, OPEC is saying that Nigeria crude oil production you know as regards OPEC I hit 1.5 million barrel per day you know uh, OPEC made this at the 36th OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting held on Thursday you know, the required level of uh, for Congo and Nigeria may be updated to equal the average production that can be achieved in 2024 as assessed by three independent sources, IHS, Wood Mackenzie, Arise and Energy, and specialized in upstream. You know, we've been talking about increasing and ramping up production you know, to be able to show up this revenue. And it was noted at the decision of the 35th OPEC and uh, non-OPEC ministerial meeting that the completion of the assessment you know, levels can be achieved by 2024 between Nigeria and Angola. And um, there's still a lot that has to be said about our crude oil sector because that's one of our major cash car and revenue earners. So if we can get that right, then definitely we'll be able to press forward and do a whole lot better. Um, so those are the stories making the rounds. And another story making the round is the fact that most of the, you know, new wage will begin, you know, uh, April next year, the federal government has voted 24 uh, trillion for salaries. You know, I mean, uh, 24. Uh, the federal government has voted some money for salaries, you know, uh, in, over the next three years 2024, 2025, 2026. You know, and uh, there's been talk about that. And that one is uh, finally going to kick off very soon. So this is about the stories we have for you on the news around up to the blog.